Hi everybody, this is Beth McCullough. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Des Moines, Iowa. I do live videos every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central with my sweet husband, Steve. Hi everybody. So Steve was downstairs exercising two minutes ago. Yeah, and then I came up and I got everything ready to start and Beth was nowhere to Where? be found. He thought he was gonna have to do that I, video alone tonight. Yeah, um, okay, moment of too much information. I asked her to bring me a new shirt because my shirt was all sweaty, so I was sitting here without a shirt. And I thought, you know, I should pop over into her spot and start the video and start to talk to people. And he's like, wait a minute. And then minute. I, wait a second, I, I, I don't, don't have a shirt on and I don't think they want to see that. That would be bad. No, Very bad. it's something you could not see, so. <laughs> okay. Look who's on tonight, Janice Driver. I have an email ready to go. Stampin' Up! is doing something weird with their system. I can't do a host code for the stamp camp. I have to wait till after three o'clock in the morning. So I'm getting up at five and I'm starting a host code. I'm waking you up too, dude. I know, I might wanna just go sleep in the basement. <laughs> You're gonna sleep in the basement because you don't wanna participate in the Stampin' Up! new catalog day? Stampin' Palooza at 3 in the morning? Yeah. I'm not thinking that would I, work I for me. I have a class from 8 to 8 tomorrow, so I have to be done by 7.30. I'm ordering for the shares, and I know a lot of you want the Stamp Camp link to get the sweet collection so you can do the Stamp Camp for free. So we will talk about all that. Oh, Judy, you did catch us live. I'm so glad you're here. So this is a double point fold card. And it's my voting card for this month. It was on my blog yesterday. I would love it if you would go to my blog and click on the link and vote. You just click on the heart in the upper right hand corner. I think I'm card number 13. Okay, you gotta show me action on this card though. Because okay. it doesn't look so that spectacular card, yeah, when it's card flat. looks boring, right? It's silver embossed, winter wishes and rhinestones. But I have magnets. Who's ready for the click? Can you hear it? Uh -uh. I, I it can hear time. it. So this opens up. This is the new Snowflake. This is super pretty, you guys. You should get it. Snowflake Sky 3D Embossing Folder. And I just did the front of it. And then it opens up. And you can put a sentiment and write your thing in here. So it's cuter in real life, right? I wish I could have put all that on the thing so that someone would vote for me. Well, Maria voted for you. Maria, thank you. I can always count on you. But we're going to make a different version of this card because when I showed Steve, he was not thrilled with this card. Well, but I didn't have time for another one. I'm used to things being a little bit more dynamic. More in your, dynamic. In your color choices. Okay. Sorry, honey. It's okay. Um, look at this. Chris sent a card. Let's celebrate something amazing. Isn't this cute? It's um, beautiful. Thank you, Chris Robinson. This is um, with the balloon, the memories and more cards. Super, super cute. So thank you for that. We love getting mail, don't we, Steve? Yes. So what else? Okay, so tomorrow, if your name is on the list, let me tell you who's on the list. For the stamp camp to buy this sweet collection of the Winter Meadow, I have Janice Driver, Kathy Walton, Nancy McBee, Kimberly Barbish, Cheryl Larson, Patty Breeze, Linda Mandernack, Linda Lace, Bev Stokes, Chris Niebaum. I have Chris N. I had to think of your name. She's my dear friend and team member. I know your name. But anyway, I have an email set up to send to all of you guys with the link. If you're on tonight and you want to do the stamp camp, let me know and I'll put your name on the list to get the link. And Becky White, I think I still, did you look at your PayPal for um, shares? I think, I think we need to chat about that. Um, what happened to the van? Tony's van got hit. Oh, I'm and sorry. And it was only four months old. Oh, that's terrible. It is terrible. I know how you feel just violated when your brand new vehicle gets hit and dinged and yeah. everything else that's just it's not good yeah. it's not good so um kathy thank you for voting i appreciate that i have a template for this tonight so should we start at the beginning steve yes i feel like i should break out in song what's the song about starting at the beginning i have no idea okay. i don't have any idea what you're talking about okay. i'm so if i knew it's, i would sing it for you it's just in my head okay 
Okay, so I used Moody Mauve, and this is just a quarter of a sheet of cardstock. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And you have a screen for that. I'm on Look at board. that, you're on there. And then for the DSP, um, we are going to do this one. Isn't that pretty? Yes. This is all out of the winter meadow. It's the back Are you side. happy? Yeah, I used yes. this earlier. For the, for the stamp camp, you get 13 card kits cut with envelopes. And then you get a written tutorial and a video for that. And then when the stamp camp comes, we do 13 more cards, more intricate advanced cards. But the video for the stamp camp, I have the tutorial done. And we did the video earlier. So we are on a roll. Yeah, honey. we recorded a video earlier and it had that side of it the stamp camp. He was complaining that I was using this. I'm an advocate for the back side that doesn't get used. Well, so no, I, was... I think most people would use this, and this would be the back side that doesn't get used. Okay. Well, so, I, now they both got used. I feel better. Who won the Iowa football game, Steve? Iowa won, but not as impressively as they should have. So there's concern. Meanwhile, Iowa State, who they play this week, overperformed and looked really good. So I'm worried. It, and is the Iowa Iowa State game this Saturday? Yes, in Ames. Okay. Okay, so with this designer series paper, like Steve has on the graphic, it's four inches by ten and a quarter. And then you can see here, I scored at two and a half from each end, here and here. And then I put my stylus, I actually, I use the big ball, you know how these are interchangeable? I used the big ball and I used a ruler. And I marked two inches that's at the center and I put that there, and then I put the other into the ruler down here at two and a half, and I scored it, and then we brought it forward. So, pretty easy. Do the same thing on the other side, and then we're just going to glue that to the DSP. And what are these berries? Does anyone know what they are? I'm coming to look. Hmm. They look like blueberries. Blueberries, but they're moody mauve colored. So I'm not sure about that. They're mauve berries. So does anyone besides me have tomatoes coming out their ears? I have more cherry tomatoes and tomatoes than I've ever had in years of gardening. So I made tomato soup last week. I roast tomatoes, sweet onion and garlic, olive oil, salt and pepper. In like a bar pan and then I get it out and I pulverize it in a blender or a Vitamix add a little heavy cream and mm, make a grilled cheese and dip it in the tomato soup Janice Wait. is all over the berries she's saying they they're cranberries or maybe holly berries oh that makes sense yeah she's on it okay so you guys see how I did this right and now I'm just going to center it on this quarter sheet of Moody Mauve cardstock. And I think the Lost Lagoon looks good with that Moody Mauve and with the berries. Do you like that, Steve? Yeah. Oops, I am gluing the berry side down on this. But oh, least, no. But the berries are showing on the top and the, the bottom. poor so berries. It's okay. They get no respect. I feel like I'm giving them respect. I'm going to center it right on there. And then I have another card. Wait, did I not make it? Oh, good, I did. So this is the basic white. It's five inches tall, seven and a half, and I scored it at three and three fourths. And then I just put it through the embossing folder. Which embossing folder? The Snowflake Sky embossing folder. And I just ran it through like this and the white cardstock is thin enough it was easy enough to do that because i wanted the pretty can you even see that on you the can camera? actually you can when you it's turn a, it like it's that it's super pretty you guys and then i'm going to put that in there and i think this time i'm going to do this sentiment what sentiment did i do last time i think i did the may this season sparkle 
You know, I usually don't stamp on videos. I like to show you how to put together the cards or the 3D items, and a lot of times I stamp my stuff ahead of time. But I stamped earlier on my video. So we're going to stamp two times in a row. Wow. What do you think, Steve? Earlier right. when I did this, I got the marks from rocking it. But if you just gently put it down, and who knows if it'll be straight. I can't get over the top of the camera. But don't rock it, right? Yay! Woohoo! I'm two for two. Wow. I have to celebrate the little wins, right? Bev is giving you lots of advice on how you can freeze your cherry tomatoes. I can freeze my cherry tomatoes too, yeah, Bev. Yeah, she cuts them in half, puts them on a cookie sheet, flash freezes them, and then puts them in a bag and okay. freezes them. Okay, I only the rest have the one question. What does flash freeze mean? It means you put them in the refrigerator until they're frozen. Oh, so they're frozen individually, not touching each other, and then you can put them together in a bag. Right. And then what do you use them for when you get them out? Do, do they eat just like cherry tomatoes? Like, can you put them on a salad? I don't know. Oh, when you make chili. You throw a few of them in the chili. Oh, that sounds awesome, Bev. I'm going to do that. I have about 600 of them sitting in the garden waiting for me. And you know, I have class for 12 hours tomorrow. So, would you like to pick cherry tomatoes tomorrow, honey? You know, I was sitting here wondering if maybe I would have the opportunity to Steve, go out and pick Steve tomatoes. Steve doesn't like cherry. He doesn't like any tomatoes. Uh, you know, I'll eat he them. Was, he was a town kid. He wasn't raised on fresh vegetables. I, I will eat them like on tacos. Um, but I'm just not a big tomato fan. I never have been. Okay. So here's the part that we're doing different than before. So I use the Styly Shapes dies which during my team video, I moved over to the other side. We'll just pretend it's here. And I cut out the Moody Mob, so the large circle of the stylish shapes. And I'm just gonna put a little glue on the tip of that. And we are not gonna glue the bottom because we wanna be able to open this. But I'm gonna center it on here and hold it down and then our next layer is the designer series paper again of the Lost Lagoon. It's got the berries on the back. And I am going to pop that layer up, but you know, we're gonna decorate it first. Last time I did the words, this time what I did is I stamped the berries with the stamp. There is a stamp and die you can use. Here's the stamp. And here's the die. They're falling out tonight. I know what we could do. We could ask Carmen to make salsa for us. We love her salsa. So what are you going to do? Do a deal? If, if I give you some tomatoes, will you make some salsa for me? Yes. Absolutely. Okay, so here's what I did. I stamped the berries in Lost Lagoon. And I cut them out using the dies. Then I stamped them again using Moody Mauve, and then I fussy cut the little berries. So see, here's a little berry. So we're gonna put a glue dot. You know, I, I put the glue dots over here too for a project. Oh no. You know, when you do two videos and two projects at a time, you know what happens? Things get mixed up. Things, yeah, things get in the other place. Good thing I have more. So I'm gonna put a glue dot on, you know, if you were watching this video on replay, would you put replay in the comments? And we are doing prize patrol. We didn't go over all the things. I kind of launched right into the video. But, so this is a fussy, can you see it? A fussy cut berry. And I'm putting a glue dot on the back and putting it in its rightful place. And the reason I did this is I didn't want the berries and the leaves to be all Lost Lagoon. And I didn't want them to be all Moody Mauve. So we had to jigger them into place. And then I think these are going to be popped up on dimensionals. This 
sky is falling, honey. Well, no. It's just every now and then things will, will fall off the counter because there's plenty of things there to fall. Yeah. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on here. Have you talked about your prize patrol with our friend Jen? I've got it scrolling, but I have to tell you, your friends are on the ball tonight. Of they have been they doing are. their own prize patrol entries. Okay. Prize patrol is for a card, and you can choose either the voting card that I want you to vote for, but Steve says it's faulty. I, it's or not faulty. It's just <laughs> not as bright as your cards usually are. I was impressed with the subtleness of that card. The subtleness? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to pop this up. We're going to have a little bouquet of berries. I was out picking raspberries out of the garden. Yes. You don't get very many did they, of the raspberries. Did they make you. them into the house? No. I put them, I, they did. I put them in my, I had yogurt and almonds and fresh raspberries. I just didn't offer any to my sweet husband. I probably should have. Look at that. Judy Davis is on. Judy would probably rather have fudge than raspberries. Well, yeah. <laughs> Raspberry fudge. I've never done that before. Okay, so I'm going to put a glue dot on the back of this. I was with my BSF gals this morning. And they were talking about how... Someone mentioned that I, we have a couple new gals and somebody was telling one of them that I sometimes get myself into lots of activities. Do you think that's true, honey? It is true. I have noticed that. Oh, look at that. What do you guys think? Can you see this? Maybe Steve, maybe you're right sometimes, honey. I should what? Listen, I should oh, wait. listen to this. Hold on. Did you see me? I was shocked just now. I, I didn't even hear what you said because I'm like, that can't maybe, be right. Let me run that back. Maybe I should listen to you more often. Would you guys have voted for my card better if I had made it Steve's way first? Let's see. So we're going to pop this up right in the center of that one. And this ribbon, you guys, you have to get this ribbon. I love it. And do you, do you all know how to make the bows? I have this bow maker, costs $5. Anybody that does woodworking can make pegs with a little hole. And it makes great bows. But this ribbon is the silver and white ribbon. And it is so easy to make a bow and so very, very pretty. Okay, so look at that. I love that. Okay, so magnets. Are you guys magnet fans? Some of you know I am a magnet fan. So I'm going to use mini glue dots. So should we go through and talk about some of the things we usually talk about in the beginning that I kind of skipped over? You did skip over things. Yeah. So the new catalog goes live tomorrow. Kind of an important thing. Um, my shares, Bridget, is Bridget on? Bridget, Bridget, I got your email. You can just mail me a check. I have not seen Bridget's name on comments. Okay. Well, I'll call her afterwards then. Which banner would you like me to display? Um, start. Let's start at the beginning. The first one is the Winter Meadow. So that suite is $96.50. Lots of demonstrators buy the suite for me to get the stamp camp for free. And it is totally worth it. If you are on and you're one of my stamp camp people, could you tell the others what you like about the stamp camp or why you do it time in and time out? Because most people, once they do it, we do it three times a year. It's demonstrators, 13 of us, Netherlands, New Zealand, Australia, Canada, UK, and the US. And it is awesome. Okay, so I decided this time it didn't care. I didn't care if the magnet showed. So I put a little quarter inch, really thin magnet to the back of the circle. And then I put a glue dot on the other magnet. And I'm just going to drop it on there. Oh, and you know something? You put it on the wrong side. I put it on the wrong side. There are two sides to those magnets. 
Let's see if I still put it on the wrong side. Yep, I put it on the wrong side. So normally what I do is I drop it. I should put it on there first and then put the glue dot on. Okay, now I'm taking the glue dot off. I'll just use a different magnet. So what I normally do is I just drop the magnet so it goes where it wants to go. Then I take a glue dot and the glue dots are actually a little bigger so I kind of roll it around the end of the pokey tool. That's a technical term for that. And I put it on the magnet, then shut up the flap and put it down and then the magnet stays there. Let's see if you can hear it. Should I put it over here by the microphone? Oops, there. I love that. Okay, so what do you guys like? Number one, here's my version with the pretty blue and green and this is silver embossed or Steve's version with the pretty berries all over the front. Gotta love those berries. Yeah. Number one or number two, tell me which one you like the best. What else do we have besides the new catalog starting tomorrow and people will want to do the stamp camp? We have Chat and Pumpkin. Chat and Pumpkin. If you buy your paper pumpkin from me, whether it's a subscription or a one-time deal, you get to chat with Steve McCullough and put together paper pumpkin. And it's super fun. And he is doing one um, next week, I believe. It's either next week or the week after. So I like the chatting part. <laughs> You're going to like the pumpkin part too, honey. I'll do the chatting. You do the pumpkins. Um, Angie says she loves both. She might even... <gasps> Angie likes mine better. Yay, Angie. Thank you. Um, Judy gave yours a heads up. So. Oh, Jean Hickson, you told me yesterday that this one is okay, and now you're a traitor. Now she's voted for Steve's. I guess I'll forgive you. You know, speaking of Jean, can I show, Jean, can I show the invitation? We're doing a baby shower. Is it okay if I talk about this, Jean? Um, we're doing a baby shower, and I want to show you the invitation. Jean and I designed this together. Is that okay, Jean? I'll pretend you said it's okay. <laughs> Why are you asking if you well, were going to do it anyway? Well, I thought she would answer. She says yes. Okay. So, look at this, you guys. Okay. She's having a, a grandson. This is her first grandchild. A little pumpkin is on the way. And look at the truck. These are retired pumpkins that she colored, but the truck is current. And this, and then look, even the back is embossed. Tilt it sideways, kind of. Can you see that? There you go. See when you do that? Yeah. This is the Leaf Fall embossing folder. It's an online exclusive, so you can still get that. And then I don't have all the other things, but we've made thank you notes. Notice we've made it all. We at least designed it all, right, Jean? We made um, boxes. They're going to get little cookies in and uh, thank you notes and so anyway we're having a baby shower and we're getting things done so Jean got a lot of it done this weekend but okay. what else do we know we are getting ready for prize patrol prize patrol and also um if you're not on a team or you're lonely because your team isn't as fun as ours you should consider being on our team we would love to have you wouldn't we steve yes so Beth we, we has a lot every, of fun with the gals on her team. We they meet really, every week during um, via Zoom. They are a tight knit group. And then whenever there's in person things like the online on st stage, we'll get together in person. We were in person for creativity now, and we were in person for another thing lately. All the things. So. Maria wants to know where you get the magnets. We get them on Amazon. Yeah, Steve Steve can come up with the link for that. Yes, I can. But it is a quarter inch, and they come like this. Oh, you're not showing me anymore, are you? Well, yeah, it's just up okay. in the corner. It's a small one. And they're very tiny, tiny, thin magnets. Okay, here we go for Prize Patrol. We have 19 entries. And let's see who wins. You get to choose one also, of these cards. Everyone who
ordered paper shares. Um, all that's, excuse me, being ordered tomorrow morning. About to pick a winner. Tony. Tony Shaw. It's a new month. Tony won last month. By the way, all the cards that were won in the past are all caught up except um, back at the end of July, in the beginning of August, Jeanette Paxton and Jean Deffenbaugh, those two people never sent me their address or I didn't get it. But Tony, Chris, Janice, and Linda Donaldson, all your stuff, you won the last four weeks. You, all of that has been mailed. So yay, I'm caught up. So is there anything else we need to chat about, Steve? I think that's about it. I'm going to check. So the, are the Hawkeyes going to win on Saturday? You know, I lay low when it comes to the Cyclones and Hawkeyes because every time I start preemptively trash talking, the Hawkeyes let me down. So... I, I went my freshman year to Iowa State. It's where everyone in my family went. And then I had to transfer schools. Why is that? Steve, Steve was at Iowa. And he was cute and nice. And I met him when I was young. And I couldn't live without him. So Kathy wants to know how to use the host code. Okay, Kathy, you are on the email I'm sending. And I'm going to send the link. And it's going to have the host code and the suite all attached. So all you're going to have to do is click on the link and it'll get you to the right place. If you, the suite is $96.50. If you want to earn host rewards, that's at $150. So if you're going to order $150, don't use the host code. Just go ahead and order and you'll get $15 in host reward. If you're ordering just the suite, use the host code to get the stamp camp and the card kits and everything free but everyone who i listed earlier is getting an email tomorrow morning with the correct link to order that is there anything else steve i think that's it okay we love it when you guys join us please tell your friends please come back we're here every tuesday at seven central and it's just a delight to spend time with you yep have a, have a great day. Bye. Bye.